Hey everybody, I am back with another series of quick tips. This one is gonna be focused on epidurals and receiving an epidural. I'm gonna do a few in a row, um, just kind of thinking about maximizing this experience, making this as enjoyable, as wonderful, as evidence-based, as minimizing risks, all of those lovely things as possible. So if you're gonna get that pain relief, let's really, really get it and let's make it a nice, lovely experience. If you wanna follow along with the whole series, you can either like me on Facebook because I always update those when I do new posts, or you can subscribe below and if you put in your email, you'll also get email updates about once a week, once every two weeks when I send out articles and quick tips and all that stuff. So a lot of people, when they're getting an epidural, a big surprise in the process comes on kind of early. And that's when the anesthesiologist or the nurse anesthetist are coming in to perform the procedure, to do the placement. Often in many hospitals, they will say, okay, we need all the supporters, the partners, doulas, mothers, anyone who's there, who's not medical, to please leave the room during the procedure. They do this for a lot of reasons, mostly safety reasons, but it's a surprise for a lot of my clients. So now you know that this is really common. If you're worried about it, you can ask your provider at an appointment ahead of time, say, hey, I heard that during an ep epidural placement, they may ask all my support people to leave. Is that the process here? Is that what it's like? So that, that way you know, okay, I need to plan for this. So once they say, yeah, everybody needs to go, here's some things that partners, doulas, mothers, all the other people can do. First, ask, how am I gonna know when to come back in the room? Um, sometimes a nurse will come out to the waiting room and get you. Sometimes you just leave for a certain amount of time and then return like 20 or 30 minutes. Sometimes they will say, well, just ask at the front desk if it's done and they'll call back to the room and they'll get a, a go ahead that you can return back to the room. So finding out how to know when to return. And then before you leave, grab um, your phone, grab your wallet, and then of course, reconnect with the birthing mother because she's probably pretty hot and heavy, probably really needing to work. Just reassuring her that you love her, that when you see her again, you know, you'll know you both um, have some, some new, fresh energy to, to continue the birth and maybe she'll be smiling, that's what the hope is. So once you leave the room, there's a few tips, ways to just kind of recenter yourself so that when you return to the labor that you have brought new energy, a refreshing spirit to that experience. First of all, I highly recommend partners, doulas, other supporters to just take a walk around the block. Who knows how long you've been working. Um, you've been in this hospital room, this very unfamiliar place for a while, most likely, and you're maybe a little stressed out with all the intensity of the day. So just getting outside in the fresh air, getting the blood moving in your body, walking around the block once or twice, um, just really gives you a sense of perspective and can give you that energy to come back with um, a nice calm spirit. Also, getting something to eat. Um, you know, you may you don't want to eat in front of a laboring mother, especially if the hospital's protocol is that she can't eat. It's just rude, right, to eat in front of someone who's not allowed to eat. So get yourself something that's going to sustain you for a while. Uh, find out if there's a cafeteria. Find out if there's somewhere nearby where you can stop and grab something for 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and then, you know, even maybe before you eat, just as soon as you leave, just taking a minute to like calm yourself, to just, you know, get your shit simmered down. Take a few breaths acknowledge any emotions or physical sensations that have come up because of the stress of being a supporter, being in this intense day of you know becoming parents. Um, acknowledging all those emotions, sometimes having a good release, a good cry, sometimes calling some of your support people so that they can be an ear for you. You can talk about you know what it's been like, how um, excited you are, but how nervous you are, all the different things you might be experiencing. But then thinking wisely about who you do call, because you wanna update the most important people, like kind of what's going on with the labor. And this is a good conversation to have with the, the birthing mother ahead of time, like who do you want me to update? Who's on our list? Um, who do you not want me to update? Who should we tell, you know, it's none of your business. So finding that out ahead of time. Um, you know, a lot of mothers don't like many, many details being told, so just get on the same page about this before you call and update those people. So those are just some things to, to think about when you step out of the room during an epidural procedure. So again, finding out when to come back, um, taking a, a walk around the block, getting outside, 
calming yourself down, centering, releasing emotions, whatever you need to do to just uh, rally, put your hat on inside out, whatever you got to do. That's a baseball reference in case you don't know. Um, also getting something to eat, updating with people you love and uh, want to keep abreast of the situation. So next week we're going to talk about what to do when you do get back in the room, when you are reunited after the whole um, separation experience and how to maximize that time as well. So again, subscribe below. If you subscribe, you will also get uh, access to a cheat sheet that has all these tips all in one place so you can print it off, stick it in your hospital bag in case you forget it in the middle of the, of the experience and you can just bring that sucker out and refresh your memory of all these things that I'm gonna teach you over the next few weeks. See you next week. Tuesday, quick tip, kick ass bird.